from the deserts of Arabia, forged from the scorching golden sands of the UAE, Nimr emerges as a major player in the light to medium weight defense vehicles industry. Nimr has steadily supported the UAE Armed Forces since 2005, growing a reputation for versatility, ruggedness, and performance. Azerbaijan has successfully test-fired the newly developed Israel-produced Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missiles developed jointly by Israel and India. In May 2016, reports from Azerbaijan has confirmed the purchase of Barak-8 missile system from Israel. The Barak-8 is a surface-to-air defense missile system designed to destroy any type of aerial threats as aircraft, helicopters, anti-ship missiles and UAVs, as well as cruise missiles and combat jets from a range of 70 to 150 kilometers. Video about the test launch of the ISRO Medium Altitude Air Defense Missile System was released on internet. The test was conducted by the Turkish Armed Forces in the city of Askare in December 2016. The ISRO is designed and developed by the Turkish company Azelsan, including missile launching system, command and control system, fire control system, 3D search radar and electro-optic system. The ISRO missile can destroy air targets up to a distance of 25 km. The missile can fly at a maximum altitude of 10 km. Poland signed a $180 million contract for the delivery of six batteries of the PSAA Pilitka very short-range air defense missile and gun system from the Polish company ZMT. The Pilika air defense system consists of six firing positions working in network command system with the ability to operate in automatic mode. Firing positions are designed for destruction of air targets at low and medium altitudes by using homing missiles GROM and 23mm artillery shells. The Pilika system has been developed to meet a Polish Air Force requirements for an air transportable air defense system. The PSA Pilika battery includes six ZUR 23 2SP Jodek SP missile and gun systems, a command vehicle, six towing trucks, two ammunition trucks, two transporter trucks, and one solar mobile radar station. Israeli company Rafael demonstrated its Spike SR missile to 15 delegations from countries around the world. Spike SR has been designed to be used by the Tactical Infantry Level Platoon and Company. Its minimum flight range is 50 meters. And during the successful demo, the missiles were fired to various range 150 meters to 1,500 meters against both stationary and moving targets. The delegation came from many countries including Poland, Switzerland, Sweden, Germany, Spain, and others. Serbia will receive six MiG-29 fighter jets, NATO code Fulcrum, 30 T-72 main battle tanks, and 30 BRDM-2 combat reconnaissance patrol vehicles from Russia for free of charge. The BRDM-2 is a Soviet-made 4x4 light armored vehicle which is fitted with a single-man turret mounted in the center of the vehicle. The turret is armored with a 14.5mm KPVT AV machine gun and one 7.62mm caliber PKT machine gun. The T-72S is an upgraded version of the T-72 main battle tank but fitted with a new explosive reactive armor protection. 
The main armament consists of one 125mm D81 Smovo gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and one 12.7mm air defense machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola. The MiG-29 MiG is a twin-engine jet fighter aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. The MiG-29 entered in service with the Soviet Air Force in 1982. The US-based defense contractor Northrop Grumman has been awarded a $9.7 million contract for integration and installation of large aircraft infrared countermeasures on Canadian CH-47F EV lift helicopter, the US Department of Defense announced on its website. The CH-47F is the latest version of the CH-4S7 Chinook helicopter family. It has new engines, upgraded airframe, and new avionics. The first pair of F-35E stealth fighter nicknamed Adir have landed in Nevatim Israeli Air Force Base and brought the Israeli Air Force into the fifth generation era. The Israeli F-35 has performed the first flight test and received OTC in December as announced the Israeli Air Force. Israel was the first country to select the F-35 through the United States government foreign military sales process. Israel ordered 50 planes. In November 2016, it was announced that the country will purchase 17 more F-35. The first new Ilyushin 76MD-98 airlifter began the second stage of factory test, the Ilyushin company said. Government acceptance test of the first model of the two new Ilyushin 76MD-90A airlifter are to be complete in 2018, Director General of USA Transport Aircraft Company, Vildan Zirunov said. It is a highly modernized version of Ilyushin 76. It is distinguished by enhanced plane and other carrier constrictions, increased takeoff weight from 190 to 210 tons and maximum payload from 48 to 52 tons. The range with maximum payload is 5,000 kilometers. The Italian Navy recently conducted a large naval exercise called Mare Aperto or Open Sea. This training activity takes place annually in the central Mediterranean involving a variety of air, naval and amphibious assets with the aim of testing the operational effectiveness of the naval commands. This year, the exercise involved 3,000 personnel, 16 surface units, 2 submarines, 6 aircraft, 12 helicopters, as well as amphibious units and special forces. The 2016 edition of the Mare Aperto exercise simulated a real international crisis situation. The commander-in-chief of the Italian naval fleet said the outcomes have been positive and successful.
MBDA will start working on its next generation anti-ship missile currently known as the Future Cruise and Anti-Ship Weapon or FKSW in March 2017. The announcement was made December 16th in a joint statement by UK's Minister for Defence Procurement, Harriet Baldwin, and Laurent Collebillon, the head of France's Defence Procurement Agency, DGA. FKSW is likely to share some commonality with the CVS-401 Persus, a concept missile unveiled by MBDA at the 2011 Paris Air Show. According to MBDA, the CVS-401 Persus is capable of multiple operating modes against a wide land and maritime target set, whilst capable of defeating advanced enemy defense systems. It is designed as a tactical weapon system operated through an advanced operations and mission planning system at the crossroads of naval, land and air warfare. Brisbane, the second Hobart-class air warfare destroyer for the Royal Australian Navy was launched on December 15th. AWD Alliance General Manager Lloyd Beckett said the launch of Brisbane was further demonstration of significant progress on the Air Warfare Destroyer project and a great opportunity to celebrate the work of Australia's shipbuilders and system integrators. The Hobart class is being built for Australia's specific defence needs and will provide a significant increase in Australia's defence capabilities. The AWDs will provide greater protection for Australia Defence Force personnel by providing air defence for accompanying ships as well as land forces and infrastructure on nearby coastal areas. The AWDs will also provide self-protection against attacking missiles and aircraft. The Aegis weapon system, incorporating the state-of-the-art phased array radar SPY-1D in combination with the SM-2 missile, will provide an advanced air defense system capable of engaging enemy aircraft and missiles at ranges in excess of 150 kilometers.